What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I got a pretty cool upgrade for you guys and it's a relatively easy and cheap upgrade so you guys will have a lot of fun doing this and let me show you guys what that is. Drum roll please. Boo 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 boo. Bam. What is that you might be wondering? That's a third brake light flasher and essentially what a third brake light flasher does is every time you apply the brakes it pulsates your uh, third brake light and it sort of just gives, uh, lets people know behind you that you know, you're about to stop. And, and you see this a lot on the um, Formula One cars, and essentially what it is, it's just trying to mimic that. And it is legal in 50 states of, Cal uh, of America, and um, these pul uh, it pulses four times, so um, you guys don't really have to worry about the legality. But remember that because it is a flasher, and it does get people's, attract people's attention, it can attract police attention as well. So you remember to um, take that into consideration. Um, I have considered it and I don't give a butt, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I installed it on my car, well I tried to install it the first time and I blew a fuse, a blew a module trying to figure it out because they weren't really clear cut instructions. So I had to try it the second time and I figured it out and I want to share it with you guys so that you guys don't have to deal with the headache and blowing fuse and all that crap, so you know, just trying to wire up a simple little module. So. Um, let me show you guys how to do it so you guys can quickly wire it up and get on the road and show off your ride. So uh, let's go. All right, so here we are in the trunk of our car. And uh, first thing what you're gonna wanna do is disconnect this plug-in so that you can work freely without having to short anything in case if, you, if some of the exposed wires touch. So disconnect this, that way you guys don't have to worry about anything and from there first step is to cut this plastic cover vertically so that you guys can expose the positive uh, the negative and the positive and the way to identify the negative and the positive is by looking at the color the negative on on our car the, the FRS or Toyota GT86 or whatever it's black and white and the positive is green and yellow, green and white, that's the positive. Now, it might be different in your car, so you'll need to identify it if, if you don't drive this car. You'll need to identify it through your manual or go online in the form and check it out yourself. So after you've identified the positive and negative, you're gonna wanna cut the positive in half. And I can, as you can see here, this is the positive leading here. It, this right here used to be connected with this like so, but I cut it so that obviously I can wire up the module. So when you, after you cut it, you're gonna wanna take the red wire leading from the module and connect it to the, uh, the first half of your positive coming from the plug-in. So basically every time you apply the brakes, the signal gets, the signal passes through here, goes through the red line, down into the module, picks up the strobe signal, and then comes back out through the yellow wire and back in to the po uh, positive of the third brake light. So basically it's like, like this, it's a current that's flowing through the module and back out in this way. Now, important thing to remember is that if you connect the yellow instead of the red and red instead of the yellow, it's not gonna work. You need to reverse it. So if it doesn't work the first time, most likely you got the yellow and the, uh, yellow instead of the red and red instead of the yellow so remember that very important thing to remember or else it won't work now for the negative right here you, you're not going to want to cut the original negative wire in half what you want to what you're going to want to do is strip it uh, very little just so you can expose a bit of the copper wire now how do you do that well you just take a little uh, sharp razor knife and then just keep Keep cutting at it, just keep peeling it a little at a time like a potato until the copper wires are exposed. Once, you, once the copper wires are exposed, you just take the black, black wire coming from the module and then just hook that up, uh, coil it around and the, uh, the negatives uh, exposed copper wire. And that's it. That it. And after that, you should, it should be able to work, so you just connect it back up and test it. Now. I can't test it show you guys now because I can't hit the brakes while I'm back here, but trust me, it works. Um, you might be wondering what these w white white and blue wires are for. Well, that, that is what controls the, the 
the flash rate. Now, mo the module I have is the basic module called the S1 from Third Brake Light. And this one doesn't have many settings. It only has two settings, slow strobe or a fast strobe. And the way I got it hooked up right now, that's fast. If you guys got them together, it's fast. If you separate it, it'll be slow. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. Um, I sure wish there was something like this out when I was trying it because I had, I had to blow a fuse and had to go through one of those to figure out figure this all out. So it took me uh, quite some headache to figure this out. And I would genuinely appreciate it if you guys gave me a like if this truly helped you out. And please just consider subscribing because I will be updating the channel regularly and to show you guys, you know, small, cool little mods that you guys can do for yourself. And thank you for staying tuned and watching my video. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out.